Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on the determinant and inverse of a matrix on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. We're going to use the calculator to answer the following question. For the matrices A and B, and we have A a 2x2 matrix and B a 3x3 matrix, we have to firstly find the determinants of both A and B. Then find the inverse of A, and we'll just give the inverse as the calculator presents it there. And then we'll find the inverse of B, but we need to write it in a particular form. And this form is different from how the calculator displays it, but I'm gonna show you how you can find the information to write it in this form from the calculator. And then lastly, we need to confirm that A multiplied by its inverse equals the identity matrix. And with A being a two by two matrix, that means that I will be the two by two identity matrix. So first off, you need to go to menu and then four for matrix. And let's start by defining the matrices. So it's one it's matrix A, it's two by two, two rows, two columns, and then input the values for matrix A. Once you're done, it's option again and then one to define matrix, matrix B, and then matrix B is three rows and three columns, and then just take your time to fill in the values for matrix B. And once you're done, then press option and we'll move to the calculation phase, so it's three matrix calc. First off, we need to find out the determinants of both matrices. So if you press option, Scroll down one page and then we can see option two here is determinant and it opens a set of brackets. In those brackets, in those parentheses, put the matrix that we want to find the determinant of. So firstly, it's going to be matrix A, so it's option three. Close the brackets for good practice, equals, and the determinant of matrix A there, negative eight. Let's just try that again with matrix B, option, down to determinant, and then we want option and then matrix B, which is four, close the bracket and then press equals. And for matrix B, the determinant is two. So now let's find the inverse of A, option again, and let's just select matrix A, which is three. And then all we need to press is the button here to the power of minus one. That will represent the inverse in this case. So matrix A to the minus one, if we press equals, then we have the inverse of this matrix. Now, now, just take a moment to have a look at how it's displayed. In the actual matrix, we have the values in decimal form, as you can see here. But if you use the navigation buttons in the bottom right hand corner, it gives you the fraction equivalent of those. Now, if you're going to write this down, I would suggest using the fraction form of the values here. But you can use the decimal as well but the, the fraction might be the slightly better option. There is a second way of being able to display an inverse matrix, and we're gonna have a look at that for part C, where we're looking at the inverse of B. So let's do that now. So option, matrix B is four, and then power minus one, inverse matrix B, press equals, and you can see that we've got it here, once again, in decimal form. So this is perfectly acceptable as the inverse of B, but what if you need to write it in the form one over determinant B and then have different values there, A to I. Well, they're going to be different from what they're displayed here on the calculator, but we can find those quite easily. Well, firstly, we know that the determinant of B is two. We know that from part A of the question. So the fraction that we'll have at the front will be one half. Uh, and in order to find the values for the matrix, all we need to do is multiply our answer here, matrix answer, by the determinant of matrix B. So if you just press multiply at this stage, it's brought up matrix answer, and then we just need to input the determinant of B. Now I'm just going to do this the long way by recalling the determinant of matrix B as we did in part A. We know it's two, so you could just input two if you wanted to get there a little bit quicker, but the fuller method would be go to determinant from the option menu, and then use the determinant of matrix B and close the brackets, but once again, you could just input two there as we know it's two. Press equals, and you can see that we've got integer values now in the matrix. And this is what we'd use to fill in values A to I on the matrix. So 
the form should look a little bit like the answer that we've got at the bottom here. So that's another way of presenting the inverse. The calculator won't necessarily go there straight away, but it's relatively easy to get that form. Form the fraction with one over the determinant. And then you, if you multiply your matrix answer by the determinant, you get the matrix next to it. And lastly, they confirm that A multiplied by its inverse is I. Let's give this a go. So it's matrix A and then matrix A and we want to the minus one, press equals, and here we have the two by two identity matrix. So that has been confirmed. So there we go, how we can use the Casio Classwiz FX991EX to find the determinant and the inverse of a matrix, two different ways to present that. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.